we want to bring Om Omri El Elmalem in right now. His brother is still missing. This, uh, boy, this, there have been so many crazy stories that we've been telling you out of that music festival. Well, his brother's a DJ, very well-known DJ, who was at that Israeli music festival that was so brutally attacked. You see some of the video behind me of that, and Omri joins us right now. So tell us, you're, you're, let's say your brother was a, like a featured uh, attraction at this music festival, very well-known DJ that people were coming to see, as I understand it at least. And then what happened? Had you been in com had you been talking to him throughout the day? Tell us the story of that day. So he was the one of the DJs in the party, and also he worked at the party as one of the producer. Uh, okay. Last connection was at 8:15 a.m. He called my mom, and he was screaming, and he told us that they're being shot, and he just didn't understand exactly what happened. But that was the last connection we had with him. We uh, conducted a, a investigation through people that we know, people that were in the party, people that were posting uh, posts uh, on Instagram. And we just started to dig in and to ask people if they saw him, when was the last time they saw him? We basically heard nothing from the government. No one called us. No one told us that he's missing. They're working on it. They're on top of it. We know nothing. We are just sitting at home and every knock on the door, we are jumping, every phone call, and we are lost. We are basically lost. We know nothing. Now, you're a New Yorker, right? But I, I, as I understand, I think, you are, are you still in Israel? And if so, you know, have you, so you haven't really been able to get any information even though you're there? Yeah, I live in New York and I came for a friend wedding. Hmm. I was supposed to fly back on Saturday night. The flight got canceled. And of course, I'm not leaving until I will know what's going on with my brother. Uh, I'm here in the south in a village that's called Omer. It's next to Beersheba. It's not far from the party. It's like a 40 minute drive. I'm here with my parents, with my sister and with my big brother. We open like uh, we are sitting here with four computers. We are talking with everyone. We were exposed to videos because we were looking my brother, maybe he's kidnapped, maybe he's in Gaza, maybe we're gonna see him in one of these video. We were exposed to horrified videos that probably will stay in my mind for the rest of my life. The, the shame that I feel, the anger, the pain, it's like something that I never experienced. The um, State Department and the White House have been telling us about the Americans who are unaccounted for. As you say, you live in New York, but your brother is Israeli, or who would he be among those 17 Americans that we're talking about? Do you know? Or? He's Israeli, right. and I live in New York for the past eight years, and it's just like tragedy that this is our ground zero. This is what we feel, you know, since it happened. But for me, you know, I'm still shocked that I'm part of it, that it happened to my family, and I just want, I just want to know what right. happened. You just want... kidnapped. He's in Gaza. He's dead. He's still in the field. We know that they didn't take everyone from the field. So for us to think that my brother is sitting there in this heat, in this weather, four days somewhere, lost, is just killing us. I can imagine. I mean, just an unbelievable um, story like so many people have gone through. You know, I'm reluctant to ask you too many details about it, but you did mention those videos, I mean, and that you'd, you'd never seen anything like it. I mean, you don't have to go into graphic detail if you're not comfortable doing that, but what, what was, what, what did you see as, as, as people were running away, I, I suppose? In, or? I served in uh, in a 51 unit in the army, and yeah. I've seen terrorists peeing on dead bodies of my unit. So for me, it was something that I, no matter what we will do, I felt that we lost. You know, if they have a footage of like peeing on dead bodies of our soldiers, for me, it's like unbelievable. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.